Hello and welcome to Silverleaf Tarot. Today we are asking for divine guidance from your angels. And we have three piles for you to choose from. Pile one, Seraphim Seraphisa. with B. Pile two, Archangel Lavender with Rainbow Feather. And pile three, Archangel Samael with dragon. So pause the video if you need to. Take as much time as you need to choose your pile or piles between pile one, pile two and pile three. And then you head down to the description box where you will find timestamps that will take you directly to your reading. And I look forward to seeing you there. Hello, pile number one. And welcome to your beautiful, already beautiful reading. Um, we're asking for divine guidance from your angels. And as I introduced um, this card and symbol um, in the intro, when I brought up the B, the message was clear. Just be, just be your beautiful, look at this, this honey, golden, sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra, light worker energy. Wow, just be. Just be you. You, well, <laughs> you are incredibly beautiful. You're incredibly connected to source energy and solar energy. The message on this card, Seraphim Seraphisa, says relax and open up to source. Keep your heart open. But I'm really getting a lot of solar plexus <laughs> energy here. The, the sun card is present. This um, shining light. You are a shining light in your community. Pile number one. You are a beautiful, beautiful light worker soul. And you offer... To, oh, you offer the golden elixir of life, the honey of life to others. You offer it freely you, because you are a transmission of this golden solar plexus energy. This is so incredibly beautiful. Um, as I was, I just had a sip of tea before starting and the unicorn cards wanted to come in for you as a message and the one that flipped over was uh, believe in yourself. See yourself doing well, and you will. You will. Pile number one, you, yeah, this golden elixir of light that you offer, that you offer to others, but also that you're in connection with. Look at this, the bee um, coming into this um, shaft of golden white light into your crown chakra. She's holding this uh, solar plexus sacral chakra flower up in her higher heart chakra area. It's this deep um, resonance between you and the world, your life's purpose. In the angelic realm, wow. You're highly connected to the angelic realm. In fact, you are a being that is actually a part of the body of light. And we all are. However, some of us are kind of emitting that frequency at a, at a much 
greater level than others. You are in a, yeah, wow. Believe in yourself. Look at this beautiful, this is like your angel team talking to you like you are, oh my gosh, you are one of us. You are one of us. You're an angel. You're an angel on this planet. You've come, well, you've come to activate the rainbow bridge. Well, between our 3D, um, very matrix-led world and, and the divine, the angelic realm. Wow. You are one of us. Wow. Powerful. Powerful. Oh, oh. oh, goodness, goodness me, okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy, you're the elixir of life, wow, <laughs> you're an angel, you're an absolute angel, oh, I don't even know which cards that was that wanted to come through, oh, claw, be careful, do not take risks. Interesting. I've got so many here. Mm, okay. I probably can't take so many. Butterfly was on the bottom. A change for the better. Mm. Okay, we're going for all three of these ones. Beetle, good fortune. Shield, you need to defend yourself. Interesting, because we have our change for the better, good fortune, all these good things. And then we have this um, protective energy. Interesting. You are protected. Target. A goal-oriented person. Mm. Wow. Okay. Mm. Oh, <laughs> an angel was on the, the bottom of the deck. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. And this is what this is. <clears throat> I'm not reading the target. As soon as I pulled out the target, um, the words that came to mind was, <clears throat> you are a target because you're this incredible light worker that is bringing this um, angelic realm frequency into the 3D. So you are a, you are a target for um, malcontent, um, energies and events and people and situations. <clears throat> this um, claw, shield, target energy. And then we have, with the shield, I got very strongly that you are protected. You, you are a part of the angelic realm. Your frequency is such. You are um, a, a bridge maker. Um, come to earth to um, activate the rainbow bridge between our 3D reality and we are very much stuck as a collective looking, not us particularly, but in, on the whole scheme of things, we're very stuck in this um, world of duality and uh, conflict and harm. A very harmful energy has saturated our world um, and that um, has its claws in that energy that frequency has its claws really embedded in our world and the structures of our world and the governments and the um yeah <laughs> yeah so this is where um people such as yourselves your beautiful light bringers, light workers. Um, this is where you have come in as a change for the better. Oh, this is so beautiful. Pile number one. It really, the emotion that welled up just then. It's just, it's 
Beautiful. You are a, an activator of the rainbow bridge between, you know, through the veil to real truth, to harmony, to um, a joyful life where we work together for the good of all. This is your frequency. You are one of us. You are an angel incarnate on this, in this realm and you are protected. You are very special. You are protected from harm. Protection from harm. You are protected from these um, external forces. And these external forces aren't necessarily just outside of you. Um, they can needle their way inside you know with um, damaging thought patterns um, a lack of self-belief a lack of self-worth insecurities all of these things are um, the work of this other energy field this energy field that has taken hold on this planet that has its it has its claws in um, however you and others like you are part of this angelic realm frequency that's coming in with a very strong solar plexus energy very powerful very spiritual warrior this energy here that solar energy that r true divine masculine where you're coming at you very um you uh, emit a very strong frequency to everyone around you. You affect your entire community. Just walking down the street, I hear, just walking down the street, you are a force to be reckoned with, not in any kind of conflict way, but simply it's like you are just vibing. You are emitting this incredible golden elixir frequency around you at all times. This is an offering that you have chosen to come to this planet in this lifetime to, to be. Not to do, but to be. However, there is much that you can do. You are truly a spiritual warrior and you may have had very targeted, very harmful and very um, destabilizing in terms of your sense of self-worth events people experiences in your life because yeah because there is a desire for things not to change for um, the whole frequency uh, of uh, Mother Earth to not raise up, for humanity to not raise up into this beautiful energy here of working together for the good of all. You are a change for the better. You're the lucky beetle. Like you bring this energy to everyone around you, every situation. You are one of us. It's so beautiful. So beautiful, oh my goodness. Oh, you're an angel, vial <laughs> number one. Woo! <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I just, oh, goodness. Star gathering, stars aligned, remembering home, soul family. Oh, this is, this is the message. This is your divine guidance. Right now, pile number one. You are a, a part of the divine. You are. This is. The angelic realm is your soul family. Pile number one. You're an angel incarnate. And the angelic realm and I'm going to actually have a look at the seraphim particularly because they are here to say we we belong together. You are one of us. We are your soul family. Give me one second. Okay, so I've got the beautiful guidebook here. 
And yeah, <laughs> well, the glorious Seraphim Seraphisa is one of the 144 Seraphim who surrounds the Godhead and helps to keep the vibration of the universes high. I mean, this is just, just beautiful and interesting. I think um, it says here with the other Seraphim, she takes the thoughts of Source source energy and chants them um, the idea of this the singing of the seraphim is is popping up perhaps you have a creative um, passion love job something about your creativity that can um, vibe break out this energy frequency even more out into the world um, and Right at the end here, her mere presence illuminates every being near her. And this is what the um, beautiful, beautiful, wow, this is what the um, message was that you, just by being you, you are precious, pile number one, and never forget it never forget it you are precious you are such a high frequency being um that just by being you <laughs> be you <laughs> again with the oh my goodness just be you just be your your authentic you just by being you you are connecting our quite stodgily stuck in its ways three-dimensional reality with the angelic frequencies you are emitting the angelic frequencies oh nine of cups you are an offering of love <laughs> to the world and this is your soul family these very very high level seraphim right their surrounding source the godhead as it was said in the booklet the seraphim surround source you're so connected to source energy oh whoa the hierophant you have direct access this is interesting you have direct access to this very very high level angelic realm the seraphim realm of light you are a bringer of the love light, which is this golden white light, um, yeah, very high, high vibrational, very high vibrational. You have direct access to this if you so wish to connect. And I feel like your angels are here, your seraphim family are here now, um, calling you, calling you home, calling you into their embrace to take the time to follow whatever pathway whatever spiritual pathway you are attracted to because if you are attracted to it with this design on the t-shirt here it is right for you it's almost like it was actually set in place within your DNA that certain um, wow that certain pathway certain frameworks to access the divine would attract you and would um, enable you to escape the kind of more earthly plane of earthly concerns and rise up in this ascension these steps of ascension towards enlightenment which is simply you connecting with who you really are this very like the seraphim realm is so close to source oh queen of pentacles get one more Oh, this reciprocal energy. You're just, you're an angel incarnate. You're an angel incarnate. And then in the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands and then the Five of Swords popping up here. So, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, look at the joy that you bring. Pile number one, this is the message. This is the message. Check out the joy that you bring to others. 
You are the flame. You are the, you are the source frequency on this planet. And you light the fires of source connection with our rainbow bridge to everyone that you come into contact with. You don't have to do anything. You actually don't need to try. You simply are. Wow, so beautiful. You simply are. And the more that you connect with who you actually are, and you simply be yourself, and you follow this pathway, there's a very particular pathway that is very attractive to you. Perhaps you want to um, join an ashram. Perhaps you are looking at the um, Kabbalistic tree of life. Something Yes, it's a divinely guided pathway for you to, and you will simply be attracted to it because it's kind of, it's set in there with these cross markers, these, these pathways towards you growing and rising up in your access to the source light energy. Um, yes, whatever you're interested in, be it, be it yoga, if you're attracted to it, go, go there, do it, is the message here. Because these pathways are um, set in stone, weirdly, set in stone like these steps for you that will help you raise your vibration more and more. And then simply, you just be, <laughs> here with our Queen of Pentacles, you simply be your gorgeous, vibrant, loving self, here with our Six of Pentacles, reciprocal energy with our um, infinity symbol here. You simply just vibe being you, being your angelic self. And simply by focusing on raising your own vibration and being a light bringer, you affect enormous change enormous change for the better. You and others like you. You are, you're an angel. You're an angel incarnate. And I see here with the Five of Swords that that hasn't necessarily been easy because um, the workings of these denser energies that are very present in the world have um, tried to hinder your progress, this is the thing, that it's tried to hinder your progress, it's tried to hinder you from reconnecting with your soul family, which is this seraphim, golden, white, just high vibrational source light energy that you are, but you're reconnecting with this, <laughs> you're reconnecting with this, and then our ten of pentacles was on the bottom here, which just shows that, um, a sense of community that what you bring to others raises everyone else's frequency too. But you simply need to, um, you do you. <laughs> You're a very generous, very giving, very knowledgeable, very wise, very empathetic, very vibrant being. Um, just be you. And focus also on um, kind of clearing this pathway or going down a particular pathway. Oh, goodness, that is the Kabbalistic tree of life. I may be um, getting the terminology wrong, but um, yeah, wow, and it's right there. Whoa, because that came through quite clearly. That could well be a pathway that you would like to explore. And then we have our five-pointed um, star, the Wiccan, Pagan, Elemental, we, the Earth, Air, Fire, Water, Ether. Um, wow. So these are two offerings to you in this reading. But the, the main message is that you will know what what attracts you, what sort of spiritual practice, be it breath work, be it tantra, be it um, going going off to um, be a hermit or be connect with nature, um, whatever. But yeah, this Kabbalistic tree of life, I may be 
call I may be not knowing what the actual correct term is for this but it's this symbol here this is coming through very strongly for you. This may well be a pathway that you would like to explore. It's definitely a guidance from your angels today that this, this ancient wisdom here, oh wow, this is really coming through very strongly with these kind of string of pearls type of energy that will lead you, wow, Oh my gosh, and with the the lanterns, it's, oh my gosh, this is coming through very strongly. That this is potentially a pathway, but also we have our mandala. So um, it is what you are attracted to, but this message is coming through um, for some of you very strongly. That this pathway here that is being offered to you right now is a string of pearls. It's a, um, a placement of lanterns along your path that can help you to um, grow as a spiritual force of nature, to fully align with who you really are and more and more with this um, golden white source light energy. Yeah. This is just so beautiful. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. You are one of us. The seraphim have come through as your soul family to let you know that you are the bringer of light. You activate this the sparks of connection with this rainbow bridge here for others around you just by being true to you. Be your true self more and more. Follow these spiritual pathways that are drawing you. It, like this, so it's very, this message is very clear. This is the main message. You will be drawn to a particular pathway or pathways, more than one, that spiritual pathways, ancient knowledge is coming through, very ancient knowledge. You'll be drawn to these pathways because they are set in stone in your um, life path because they will lead you up the stairway, the stairway to heaven, the stairway to enlightenment. So follow your inclinations. Um, follow these spiritual pathways that you are drawn to. It doesn't mean that you're trapped into um, one particular way of thinking because there's multiple. It's almost like there's these steps along the way and each kind of new book with the Hierophant, each new book of knowledge that you open will lead you closer and closer to um, really like fully fleshing out this um, transmission of the source light energy but you're already doing it you're already you're already this and it's simply with our lotus um, simply the unfolding of you being your true self more and more and more so that you can offer this frequency to your community to everyone around you more and more. This is, this is your role here in this lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> Such a beautiful, beautiful message. And thank you so much, pile number one, for being here with me um, today. I appreciate each and every one of you so very much. Thank you for being who you are, pile number one. This is, you're a gift. You're a, you're a gift. You're an offering to us all. Thank you so much for being here. Um, if this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading. Welcome, pile number two, to your reading where we are asking for 
divine, divine guidance from your angels and there is such a strong sense of release, the need to release, to let go. We have our beautiful rainbow feather and our Archangel Lavender releasing these birds. We have very strong purple, purple and white. Prepare for song healing, forgive and release everyone. Deep, deep healing. I got the, I got the guidebook out. This beautiful guidebook here. Um, and it talks about um, Archangel Lavender, um, the light of Archangel Lavender enfolds people in loving, purifying healing. When your soul star chakra, which is um, a white light chakra above the head, is opening, expanding, and starting to light up, Archangel Lavender approaches you to help you understand your gifts, talents, and ancient knowledge so that you can use them wisely. Now, as I was um, preparing for your reading, um, a certain deck of cards wanted wanted to be used and wanted to be shuffled <laughs> straight away. Um, the angels are being a little bit... Um, they're very here, they're very here and present to give you this divine guidance. They really want to uh, talk to you today, pile number two. And what flipped over was the crown chakra upgrade, divine connection, holy experiences, miraculous energy. And this is where we get this, um, wow, this the soul star chakra light is what this is bringing in and then we have the divine matrix this purple again this violet but also with this um sort of indigo blue as well coming through interconnectedness synchronicity god incidences <laughs> so coincidences but that are um devised by and organized by by God and then on the bottom of the deck was the temple of truth throat chakra authenticity self-expression so the purples and um, the more indigo-y blue of the throat chakra and this white of the soul star chakra are coming through very, very clearly. Oh. Yes. Goodness. Temple of Truth. I'm just going to put this one on here. Wow, I mean, we've, we're very much in the upper chakras here with your divine guidance. You're very much being called to um, let go of a version of yourself that you have played up until now. That's the exact words that's coming through with these um, drawn on, interesting, these um, drawn on designs on the cape. It's like you have uh, performed certain roles, um, did what, what you um, needed to do at the time, um, Interesting, it's time to kind of let go, oh so interesting, especially with this matrix, the fabric, to let go of the, hmm, so interesting, to let, to release yourself, your soul self, your higher self, from any, um, the fabric of your life that you have hitherto created. So we've got the creation energy here with the hand drawing onto the fabric. So the sort of interesting, the matrix, the web, the structure, the uh, formulation, the, um, the looks, like what your life looks like, on the outside, the um, systems that you have in place. This is 
Wow. Let me just see what this. You, you've created your life up until now, and this is a calling for you to release yourself from the structures that you yourself have set in play. You have created certain structures, even certain belief systems about yourself, like um, I really want to um, travel to the Himalayas and because I feel a deep calling to go to this um, sacred place on the planet. However, the, the, the persona that I have um, created around myself is one of sturdy dependability and I don't want to let anyone down or I don't want to, um, I'm afraid to release myself from the obligations that I set for myself. Um, that is an analogy of the energy that is coming through for your divine guidance, which is to let go, to release yourself from these um, aspects of yourself that, that you um, are stuck in. You're stuck in them. With our analogy there, um, there's a, a deep sense of divine calling, divine connection, a divine pathway forward with these, um, this gateway here. And yet um, the ideas of yourself that you are playing out in your everyday life are preventing you from, and we have the feathers here too, God, beautiful, but <laughs> your angels are here to say, oh, open the, open the gateway, you're not, you're, oh my gosh, so beautiful, you're not stuck in these roles, or these expectations of others, and even the expectations of yourself, you're not stuck in those expectations, you can change them, you can, you Oh, so beautiful. You can separate the um, sense of the blocked doorway. You can open, wow, you can open up this, um, you can free yourself from these um, ideas of yourself and what you have to do. These are the shoulds and shouldn'ts of your life. You are being called, you are being divinely guided right now to free, whoa, free yourself. Wow. Time to get out of a situation. Oh my gosh. Should we put that up here? Wow. You, wow. I mean... <laughs> You are being guided to free yourself, to let yourself free with these birds, with these feathers, and with this archway opening up for this beautiful blue-white, which is interesting because that br brings in that throat chakra. Even though we're mostly in the purples, which is more the um, third eye chakra, I was definitely getting the throat chakra coming through to express your true authentic self and to actually release yourself from these um, obligations that you feel that you have to do, that you should do, to really oh, lighten up, to lift yourself out of um, those duty-bound expectations that you have of yourself and that others then in turn have of you to be free, to be free to really, oh, look at this. I mean, the feeling is to stretch your wings, to, you know, you open up your chest and spread your wings and fly and flow, fly free, flow free from these ram energies. The stubborn, aggressive person, this is 
the stubbornness of remaining stuck in a certain matrix that you yourself have created. And of course, um, the our 3D man-made um, situation does lend itself to all of us making these expectations for ourselves, obligations that we you know, we can't go and catch a plane and fly free to the Himalayas to follow this calling, this soul calling, because we have bills to pay. We have, and of course, of course we do. Of course we do. But the, what's coming through here with this divine matrix energy, like this is, this is your mind. You can change your mind. And you can then set a different um, flow of energy, wow, beautiful, in motion by changing your mind, by deciding that you're not stuck in this stubborn ram energy of I have to do this, I should do this, I am duty bound, obligated to do this. Time to get out of a situation with the pale. The release, the release, the fly free, the the remove the barriers in your mind is the message. Remove the barriers in your mind. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And the energy will flow through and it will make, yes, once, <laughs> once you change your mind, the energy can then flow through. You're releasing yourself from the shoulds and shouldn'ts, have tos, must dos. And that flow, this new fresh flow of energy that comes through will lighten your load, is the words that's coming through. It will lighten the load on your chest because I'm definitely getting this really. Um, Open up your chest, open up your, your wings, your figurative wings, but also physically. It will lighten the load on your heart. Wow. And what will occur then, once this energy gets um, a look in, <laughs> this free-flowing energy gets a look in, it will create situations where you are able to physically and responsibly let go of um, anything that is holding you back. You're ready for this. You're ready. You're ready for this. Power number two. You. It's. Yeah. Those words got <laughs> complicated, but you're ready to. Wow, to take this chance, to take this opportunity to be true to you. And then when we were looking at the divine knowledge and wisdom, there's definitely something here about um, sacred, sacred sites coming through. Ask your angels. They're saying, communicate with us, talk to us, allow us to help you. Wow, so beautiful. And the purple, wow. The purple cape here. Allow us to get involved and to help you. The situation will improve. Goodness. Holy wow. And then on the bottom of the deck was let go. Oh my gosh. It all starts with your mind, is is the guidance here. Um to yes, to let go of um yeah, these systems or ways of being that you have been stubbornly um, attached to. And fair, fair enough, you know, you were, um, if you're like taking care of others or all of these things, it's, it's all good. This is no, this is not a, a, there's a no shade reading. We all get stuck in certain figments of our imagination of what we've decided that we have to do, that we must do, and also what we can't do is coming through. But you can. You have this one wild and precious life, pile number two, and this is your calling. The calling is to release yourself. Start with your mind, 
Start by thinking something different, changing your mind about what you have to do, about what you must do. Al allow the gateway, the neural pathways in your mind to open, to allow this energy, this beautiful healing, beautiful purification energy to come through and then just watch how your life improves. Like, this is the message. This is the message. Release yourself from these um, self-created obligations. You're ready to step through the gateway here with this offering. The gateway opening with our figure here offering the ankh. So offering this divine wisdom, this divine pathway. It's very much a spiritually free pathway with that analogy that came through. Could well be sacred sites. It, Egypt is here. Um, Lemuria is also here. So these are within the Pacific Ocean. Wow, that's in here very clearly, actually. Wow, the water, the flowing free, going on um, some kind of spiritual pilgrimage where you are allowing yourself to free yourself from the structures of your life that, that you are stuck in and release yourself from the situation, um, even if it is simply a um, holiday, a vacation, um, a retreat. Because once you, this is the beautiful energy here. This is your guidance. Once you let go of these self-made belief systems of what you have to do, once you, um, in your mind, release yourself from being attached, this is the stubborn energy, whoops, I was shaking the table, um, <laughs> from being attached to that version of yourself, this is the message, as soon as, literally, in the instant that you start to open this gateway to really um, divide this block, in your mind, then this energy, this is a waterfall energy, this, this river, this waterfall energy is going to come through and it's actually going to um, enable your angels to help you on the physical. It will help you to release yourself from situations that really hold you stuck that keep you stuck in certain life situations that don't allow you the sense of freedom. The your angels want to help you and, and they need a pathway in. And it's all of this um, mental construct of shoulds and shouldn'ts that you are being guided to let go. To just start to open up the shoulds, shouldn'ts, musts, all of that. Just... <laughs> just start to just open open the gateway just a little bit and see how this energy, this free-flowing energy starts to really make you feel lighter. It will lighten your load. This energy, this follow this light, follow these ideas that you've been getting about very, I'm getting very strongly a sense of maybe somewhere that you want to go or a certain retreat, a certain some, you know, wow, something very um, sacred site or sacred experience that you are feeling drawn to but perhaps are, are feeling prevented from doing. And the guidance is to just open up those neural pathways in your mind a little bit to allow the possibility of this river of beautiful, beautiful, high vibe, very light, light experiences to flood through, to improve your life situations and really uplift you and help you feel just, oh, I mean, so much lighter, so much freer. Suddenly, it's this expansive energy, and it starts with your mind. 
pile number two. It starts with changing your mind to allow this beautiful energy to come through and start affecting your 3D physical life. This is your divine guidance from your angels today. Pile number two. Thank you so much for being here with me for this reading. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading. Welcome, pile number three, to your reading today where we're asking for divine guidance from your, from your angels, from your angelic team. Now you've chosen Archangel Samael. Choose harmonious responses. Act with wisdom and grace. Wisdom and grace is very much our dragon energy here. Very wise, ancient uh, energy beings. And very graceful, very fluid, um, wow, very and very deep, deep within, deep within Mother Earth, Papa Tuanuku. Yes, um, wow, and then the Tanifa energy of uh, the Maori culture is coming through. We have these flames, mm, these flames on. Um, Archangel Samael's cloak, wow, this very fiery fire dragon energy. And then we have this, um, uh, I've forgotten the name actually, Ishiguru? So, no. <laughs> um, mm, I've forgotten the name. But it is a Japanese practice of when a bowl, um, a pottery bowl breaks, um, they repair it with with gold and it's this sense of what um, could be seen as as a flaw can ah oh, interesting or something that went wrong that was perceived as going wrong can then actually be mended in a way that is more beautiful more wise more graceful than it was before. I'm also getting very strong ley line energies here um, with our dragon and with these lines and this cracks in the bowl and these flames. There's something very... Mm, mm, the gold as well. Mended with gold, and we have our golden fire dragon is who's coming through. Golden fire dragon energy. Wow. Now, um, today, <laughs> quite often when I'm preparing for each pile, a, a card deck will call to me, and then a card <laughs> pop, pops up prior to the reading. And, and today, I mean, for you, pile number three was the Daughter of Cups, the Page of Cups. And again, I'm just getting, I'm getting this ley line, the lines, energy, this, hmm, it's a very calm image, very gentle. But it's like there's these eons of grace in the water around our baby swan, I think this is. Ah, this rainbow energy, fire dragon energy. Hmm, let's see. Can we please have divine guidance for pile number three from their angelic team. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you, yes, thank you, thank
think, oh, creating a new pathway for yourself. Here we go. Daughter of Cups, inspiration is coming to you with our Page of Cups energy. It's quite creative because we've got our pottery bowl here. We've got our rainbow energy. It's very creative. It's actually very gentle, even though it's extremely powerful. Wow. The... <laughs> the the <laughs> the bell is here to say this is this um, message or this opportunity um, is uh, ripe for the picking with our strawberry is right on your doorstep. Um, there's a new pathway. Wow. It's time to forge again with this kiln, you know, being forged in the kiln energy and the fire and the flame. There's a new pathway that you that you are able to forge right now with this very powerful um, golden fire dragon energy. We're forging new pathways. We're fixing what got broken in terms of internally, emotionally. Emotional healing is here. Emotional healing with our Daughter of Cups and our rainbow ripples. The ripple effect um, of the healing work that you do now. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> Woo! And this one too, goodness me. Okay. Well, we may want, we may be getting more. Well, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we've got so much, so much. And this is a new pathway forward. This is all about a calling and offering from your angels to forge a new pathway forward. You can feel it in your um, energetic, emotional body. And it's very creative. It's very plump. It's right there, ripe for the picking. The um, With our <laughs> little dangling... <laughs> the Page of Cups is, is an offering. It's inspirational. It's childlike. It's innocent. It, it makes you feel good. Um, this is the kind of offering. This is the path way forward it's like with these um dangling diamond golden diamonds here the the energies around you the angels are here with with dragon energy um kind of very much tempting you that's <laughs> what i feel with our ripe strawberry here and with the bell they are tempting you with this new pathway forward everything in. We're going to add our dragon and bell. I kind of feel like the strawberry is what is on offer here. <laughs> We're going to put a dragon here and the bell here. Wow, the golden bell. I mean, okay, let's have a look at what has come up from the angels and um, I noticed that the card deck over here you can't quite see but has um, flipped up the top card strength. Here we go. Wow, a, a divinely guided opportunity is at hand. We're going to start in the middle. Seraphim Seraphiel, tune into the divine will, open to higher illumination. And here again, I just get this rainbow creative energy. I get a very creative energy. And with our strength card, we've got our lion, we've got Leo, very creative, very much shine forth, um, what you have to offer. We've got our sun rays in the background here. There's an offering with this rose. You have something to offer is what the guidance is. You have something creative, juicy, um, and very wise. Very wise and graceful, again with our lion. Wisdom and grace with our golden dragon. You have something beautiful, very ripe and juicy to offer the world. It's very creative is where is what I'm feeling. It's a creative offering of some kind. Interesting. Archangel Jules align with the highest. Go with the flow. Very nice. 
again with the Lemurian energy that had come through in uh, pile number two. Archangel Mariel, manifest for the highest good, work with pure love. You have this, you have something to offer is what I'm seeing here. All of these figures have something to offer the world, something beautiful, something high vibrational, something divinely inspired here with our lit up soul star chakra, divinely inspired, divinely guided. You have something really beautiful to offer the world and here you are doing it. It's like you have it in your hands. You have this juicy strawberry that uh, we want to partake in. It's something creative. It's something beautiful. It's something high vibrational. We've got the cherubim here. Um, very high vibrational that you can then uh, project out into the world that you can offer all of us, you can project out this beautiful offering for everyone's benefit. And again, for some reason with the bowl, this offering of the bowl um, and the mending of the bowl, it's, it's a very healing, um, it's got a very healing energy. And you're forging a pathway forward. I'm definitely getting creative, but healing, it's a very... Um, Creativity does heal. Creativity is a healing pathway. Cherubim, look to the stars, accept keys and codes of stellar wisdom. This is this divine inspiration here. It's like you're going to find this shell of inspiration. You'll perhaps be going about your normal day and suddenly this idea will form in your mind. Or you will see something and it will like a bell, it will just um, it will just click and you'll see what you want to create and what you want to offer the world. And you have so much to offer here with this figure. Archangel Faith, this is interesting that she has come up because when I was um, preparing the, the, the whole reading, this card kept popping up, kept popping up. And here she is for you, for in your pile, pile number three. Archangel Faith, with faith you are invincible. Believe in yourself and believe in this creative project, whatever it is. And it doesn't necessarily need to be painting or, or singing. Um, creativity is bigger than that. It could be cooking. It it could be anything, but it's this creative energy, and I'm definitely getting a kundalini energy here. Kundalini uh, shakti energy is this um, surging life force. Here we go. This is where our dragon ley line <laughs> tanifa energies are coming in, they're, and they're so ripe and powerful. This very, yeah, the fire, golden fire dragon energy. It's this um, shakti life force kundalini energy that wants to come through you and be offered to the world through you. I'm going to get another card. Father of Swords, that's the King of Swords. Yeah, you've got this idea or this idea is coming on through like a flame, like your You've got your um, sword and it lights up. I'm not sure what that is referring to, the flaming sword. Let me have a little look. Okay, so I went to Google the flaming sword, but what actually came to mind, and um, I, I don't know who the saint is, but there is a um, history of a female saint who, wow, and this is, okay, I'll get started, um, well, <laughs> this is very strong, um, basically she described an encounter with, I think it was Archangel Michael, who, um, touched her with his flaming sword, and that, and, or she felt like a flaming sword had been uh, lit up within her. And um, it is 
it is seen as um, quite an erotic description of a spiritual experience. But when I um, came across it, I 100% relate to that story as a Kundalini awakening. And we have our dragon energy, which is akin to this Kundalini Shakti energy of the snake coiled in the spine. There's this... Um, the power of kundalini is is fiery it's it's hot <laughs> it's it's intense it's so powerful and this is what is on offer to you this is what you power number three can harness and here we have this <laughs> this rainbow sword this flaming staff type of thing um this golden energy here this fiery energy it's that you can be struck with inspiration it's a very creative life force um energy inspiration that will is being offered to you so that you can then um channel that energy through in terms of with our ley line energy with our um, kundalini rising up the chakras in the spine energy it's like this spark of inspiration that is coming your way that is being offered to you is so that you can then um, emit out this whatever you are inspired to do and being called to bring in um, the amber here, what you are being called to do, it's very sacral chakra, very solar plexus chakra, fiery creative energy, for you to then um, offer that um, energy, that wisdom and that grace out into the world in some kind of creative way. So I went to pick up the tea leaves and I accidentally knocked this one. Oh, Tulsi, you are sacred. I mean, you have got it going on. <laughs> as what well is, check out these dancing arms, the swirling of energy around. Wow, you are extremely creative. You are, wow, okay. Oh, dark woman dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair so i'm gonna pop this up here mm. oh. valley deep personal strength strength card and peace that assures success and on the bottom of the deck seahorse family matters interesting definitely something that will affect others and the next one is Tough Love Lavender. Wow, here we go. Mm. On the bottom of the deck, Forbidden Fruit Apple with our snake, our Kundalini Shakti energy here. This um, temptation <laughs> with our strawberry. This uh, temptation to really um, set yourself free. Well, <laughs> I'm going to bring... Yeah, we can't quite fit everything in, but um, yes, to let the snake free, to let the dragon loose, to really start affecting um, the world around you with this very creative um, life force energy, to start plucking what you want to pluck from life and add it to your toolbox of wisdom and grace and then offer it to the world around you with this really um, gorgeous creative energy that you have. You have this deep connection with um, these very strong spiritual powers that are very fiery, this golden fire dragon, this juicy strawberry, the Tulsi, um, the snake. This is very much um, Shakti Kundalini energy that, that you have um, the ability to tap into and you are being called to do so. 
called to tap in to that Shakti Kundalini life force energy and let it flow through you with our flaming sword uh, symbology, flaming through you to actually affect other people with our family matters and, and this woman here. This is, um, and with our valley, I'm also getting those ley lines, those dragon ley lines, those ley lines of energy that you have access to and are actually, in this reading, offering themselves to you. This energy is offering itself to you. It's like, take it. Take it with the forbidden fruit, the temptation. The temptation to um, really let yourself, wow, look at this with our, the, have the strength to, re oh my gosh, we've got tiger, we have dragon, we have lion. This energy of let yourself express, express and flow outward all of this wonderful creative energy that you have. Let yourself be seen and follow what tempts you with our um, uh, plucking of the, you know, take what what you want from the world around you. If you are a photographer, something like that, you know, take what inspires you as your message. This is your divine guidance, is to step up and let yourself be seen, offer, Offer your strawberry to the world, all the juice of your wisdom and grace and creativity that, that you have shining out of you, shining out of your solar plexus chakra, pile number three. You are shining. You have access to this beautiful, beautiful creative energy, and it's very aligned with Kundalini, very aligned. It's very powerful very powerful. We have really very powerful beings coming through into your reading. And it's almost like what you have to offer is um, in a sort of crystallized form. It's like this is a seed. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. You have, there is a seed there is this opportunity right here, right now, being offered to you to really, um, yeah, it's almost like this is almost like a pill as well. It's like to take the pill, to take the medicine, to drink the tea, to pick up the shell of this beautiful, inspired, creative energy, this idea with the Father of Swords. It's some kind of spark of an idea with our um, soul star chakra here. It's an idea that illuminates you and is very tempting. It's very tempting for you to do. You will know it when it strikes you because it's like seeing a plump, juicy strawberry and it's so sweet and delicious. You want it. And this um, kundalini, fiery, um, golden fire dragon energy will rise up in you wanting, wanting to follow that idea through and to offer it to the world and to allow yourself to be seen for this amazing, majestic is coming through, powerful, um, solar plexus energy light being that you are. You have so much to offer and so much to offer that um, other people want. Um, what you have to offer will be received very well. Deep personal strength and peace that assure success. You will be successful in this venture. If you follow this idea, the spark of inspiration, I keep going to move this card, but it, does, it doesn't want to move. This is key here. This is rise up, 
rise up and allow yourself to be seen, to allow your creative projects to be seen, to allow what you've been working on to shine forth into the world. It will be received very, very well very well. Have faith. You are invincible. You have the flaming sword of inspiration. Pole number three, believe in yourself. Have the strength to believe in yourself and to go for it, to eat of the apple of this opportunity. This opportunity is right here, right now. It's on offer to you. It could be in the form of inspiration. However, it could actually be an opportunity that comes to you, perhaps via email, a DM, something of the kind, where suddenly you get this opportunity to offer um, the world what you're made of, which is interesting, this whole, um, and to forge a new pathway forward with gentleness and grace. It's all very flowy, um, flowy energy. It's not a struggle. This is not going to be a struggle. Any struggle is simply embedded in any sense of you not being the most amazing person that you are like you are a force of nature, you can forge your own creative path forward, you can create amazing things and you can offer them to the world and they will be gratefully received, gratefully received. So I so look forward to you getting this spark of divine inspiration and um, eat of the apple. Pile number three is your divine guidance. Eat of the apple and let your true, creative, powerful self be seen. Offer your creativity, your life force to the world. What you offer this um, creative energy that comes through you and is formed through your hands, through, through what you are doing, through your creativity, um, is just powerful, it's beautiful, it will light other people up. Pile number three. Wonderful, vibrant energy in your reading today, poll number three. Thank you so much for being here with me uh, today for this reading. I appreciate all of you so very much. And if this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading.